Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be going over Perplexica. So Perplexica is, a, is an AI-powered search engine, and it is open sourced, and it's available on their GitHub repo. So you can actually pull this or download it onto your computer and run it locally. It also, you can also run it inside a Docker container. So you could usually, you could actually use this on your own server and run it as your own search engine, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, so let's just kind of go through the overview here. Perplex Perplexica is an open source AI powered searching tool or an AI powered search engine that goes deep into the internet to find answers. Inspired by Perplexity AI, which I assume that's where they got the name from also, uh, it's an open source option that not only just searches the uh, web, but understands your questions. Uh, it uses advanced machine learning algorithms like similarity searching and uh, embeddings to refine results and provide clear answers with sources cited. So this is awesome. Embedded embeddings and um, sources cited. So that's good to, to know. It's using uh, Cirex NG to say current and fully open sourced. Uh, Perplexica ensures that you always get the most up-to-date information without compromising your privacy. So um, this is a great way if you want to, you know, move away from Google or Bing or some of the other search engines that uh, like to get a lot of your privacy stuff. Um, maybe you've been using DuckDuckGo or something like that, but you want to have more control over your own uh, pri or search engine. You can run this on your computer or put it on a server. So this is a great little option to have. Um, features, it's <clears throat> local LLMs, so you can make use of local LLMs such as Llama 3 or Mixtral using Olama. I do have Olama running, uh, but we're not going to do that today. We'll just go with their open AI. Um, maybe in a future video, I'll set I'll do a video on how to set it up with local um, at Llama if this video gets enough uh, attention. Um, so uh, two main modes, co-pilot mode, uh, the in-development mode. So um, it boosts search engine. Now this is in development. So it boosts search, boosts search by generating different queries to find more relevant internet sources. Okay, that's good. Um, like normal search, instead of just uh, using the context by Sear X NG, uh, it visits the top matches and tries to find relevant sources to the user's query directly from the page. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, normal mode uh, processes your query and performs a web search. So this is where it, you know it's basically a web you know search engine. Um, focus mode. So special modes are better. Uh, to better answer specific questions. So this is great uh, type of questions. Perplexica can uh, currently ha currently has six focus modes. So we've got an all mode. So this is just searches for the entire internet or web uh, to find basic uh, or best results. Um, a writing assistant mode. So if you're a writer, this is great. Writing blogs or books or, you know, articles. Uh, help writing task. Um, that does not require search, uh, searching the web. So, wow, that's awesome. Uh, academic search modes for um, finding articles and papers, ideal for academic research. YouTube search mode, great for finding uh, coding AI with videos. <laughs> so finds AI coding videos uh, based on the search query. And for you math heads out there, we've got the Wolfram Alpha search mode. So answer queries that need calculations or data analysis uh, using Wolfram Alpha. Uh, Reddit search modes, that's great. I use I search Reddit all the time, so that's excellent. Um, so let's just go ahead and skip down to the installation here. You can read more about this here. Of course, the link will be in the description. So installation, there are mainly two ways of installing Perplexica with Docker. That sounds great. We'll go with Docker today. Um, using Docker is highly recommended. Um, getting started, getting started with Docker recommended. Um, ensure Docker is installed, which we do have it installed. It is installed and up and running. We have no containers, no images, nothing on it right now, but here's our Docker desktop. Um, and so this is great. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. This is the Git clone and it's this uh, repo here. So perfect, I'm gonna go back here. Um, so I have a folder I've already 
uh, created for specifically for this. So I'm just going to paste this in here and it should open. Yep, there we go. It created the folder and uh, get cloned it. All right. So after cloning, navigate to the directory containing the project files and we need to rename this sample config to config.toml. So let's go open this up. I'll just click on it and open it up in VS Code. And we'll find this. There it is. Sample config. We will rename this. And, oops. Rename this. Just highlight that. Delete it. There we go. And so we have, uh, it's going to be running on port 3001. Um, and then we can change the similarity to either cosine or dot. We'll just leave it at cosine. Um, and so we can choose these existing um, API keys or existing API. And we do have all three of these. I could use one, any, either one of them. Um, I'll go with OpenAI today. Um, and we could, uh, you know, by default, it's going to have this uh, SirXNG or SirXNG running. Um, but we could also run a local uh, model, so Olama. Um, or Mistral, Olama 3 or Mistral using Olama. Again, I do have it running, but we're going to save that for another video. So let's go back over here and uh, let's see. So uh, OpenAI, uh, your OpenAI key, that's what we'll, we'll just go ahead and go with that. Um, but that's cool. You can do all these other things and then we'll do the uh, Docker Compose up. So I am going to go ahead and get my OpenAI key entered in here. So just so you know, the way I do it is I'll go copy my real OpenAI key. And just in between these parentheses right here, I'm going to paste them. I know that seemed obvious, but some people want to see that. So that's what I will do. And I will be right back. All right, we are back. And we are going to copy this Docker Compose up dash D detached. Okay, so we will just go ahead and click paste here. And this will probably take a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and I will be back after that's done. Okay, so we have uh, the application is now running in Docker and it is going to be, I believe, at port 3001. Well, let's go back to our instructions here. So. But I saw that. Okay, so this is the non Docker installation. And then using your search engine. Okay, so open your browser settings, navigate to your search engine section, and then add the new site search with the following URL. Okay, so we. Um, we're not going to add that right now, but we can't, we could do that. I just want to copy this and then go back to our, or we'll, we'll just open up this new tab here and paste that there. Okay. Excellent. So here we are. Um, this is great. It looks very similar to open AI here. Um, we've got, and this is home and this is discover. Uh, what is this? So we have a library, no chats found right now. And then we have our settings here. Um, so currently we are using um, uh, chat GPT 3.4 turbo. Uh, we could change. Oh, wow. We can use the Omni um, and Omni mini. Wow. That's, that's awesome. Let's just choose this uh, four here. And I am using my API key for uh, open AI. And uh, we'll refresh the page after updates. We'll just save that. Let's go back to here and let's just ask it a question. Uh, let's see. What is the fastest land animal in the world? Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's very similar to perplexity. It has these uh, sources up here. Yeah, I can see how it's based off of perplexity. So the fastest land animal in the world is the cheetah. Okay, that sounds right. I remember that from, from high school <laughs> or elementary school. Let's see. That's excellent. So if we click here, can we create a new chat? Oh, okay, excellent. So now let's say please provide 
code. Yeah, for a to do web application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. See what it does with that. Now it's a search engine, so I don't know <laughs> if it, as an AI, if it can do that or yeah, okay. So it can't provide that. So, so I'm sorry, but I can't provide the exact code for a to do application as it would be quite extensive and complex. However, I can guide you through the general steps and concepts involved in creating such application. Okay, so it's not an AI, it's just a, a search engine. But uh, sure, we could use it to, to search different things. Um, let's see if this chat. Okay, so it does keep the library here. So yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. This is really cool. Um, so enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy uh, Perplexica. And um, I will see you in the next video.